Good morning, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking reading. Alright, we're going to use the Tarot of the Divine for your reading this morning. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything I need to catch up on. Alright, I've got a Facebook Live on the 5th of June, Saturday the 5th of June. I'm starting at 9.30, which is a little earlier than I normally start, but um, it just seems to suit me better. If you want to join us for the Facebook Live, you need to be a liker of my Facebook page at the Aussie Goddess. From here on inwards, I'm thinking of using a new system and doing it by invite so we don't get so many um, trolls on our page. So I'm trying to work out how to best do that because that does take up people's time, blocking people and getting rid of people. So, um, so that, that's to come. Um, I've also had a lot of people now asking for intermediate tarot, so I'll be getting up and running with a class in the next few months, and I'll probably do another beginner's class because I know a lot of people still like to um, still like to go back and refresh. So those are the plans in that regard. Um, as to the uh, star sign or sun sign readings. I'm thinking of doing a completely different thing with those rather than doing them every day. So I'm just trying to come up with a plan for those two. So watch this space. Alrighty, we still have a live platform event going ahead on the 18th of June. If you live in the Wollongong, Port Kembla or Sydney area, you might be interested in joining us there. That is, has been advertised on my Facebook page, but if you're unsure, you can flick me a message. Um, and I think the next fairs for me uh, are the 20th of June at Merriweather in Newcastle. <sighs> Hopefully that's everything. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get into this reading. Okay, so we have the lover's card coming out here. Look how beautiful these cards are. So... The Lover's card is a card that talks about two people being brought together by the divine, by the universe, because they are meant to be together. It's a, it's an, a sort of a divine union. Um, the Lover's card, as I always say, originally meant the choice between two, but over the years it's changed. Um, I feel like, yeah, we've got the Temperance card, we've got Divine Timing, which is exactly as I was feeling. I feel like for some of you here, and it is coming up in some of the personal readings too, that a union is coming into formation. For some of you, I feel that the union that you expected may not come in, in which case it feels like you're being given someone new or someone to... I don't want to say replace your person, but certainly so that the work you've done doesn't go unrewarded. So the divine has seen the work you have done on yourself um, around your own healing. So I feel like many of you at the moment are bringing in new love. It feels to me like a lot of you are coming into union with the person you expected to come into union with. But for others of you, you may be given an opportunity at new love. That's the way it seems to be coming through at the moment. So we have the Lover's card and then we have the Temperance card coming through. And the Temperance card talks about everything being in balance. It's like the complete healing. It's like you're in the vibration you need to be. And it because you're in that right vibration, you're bringing in what we call divine timing. Now I have the Queen of Swords here. Wow, you are so ready here. This is the energy of being really in the right space. I feel that you're completely where you need to be. I feel that you are feeling it too. So if you're not feeling that you're exactly in the right place, then this probably isn't your reading because for me, this, this is the energy of really feeling like you're ready. So probably a good thing to do sometimes to ask yourself if you're ready because sometimes you think oh yeah I'm ready I'm ready but when you start to think about it you think no I'm actually not ready for this 
but I feel like when this card comes through in this sort of energy, it's like I'm ready to go here. All right, so we have the Chariot card coming through. So the Chariot card is a card that talks about forward movement. You're dealing with Geminis and Cancers here. Um, then this reading may relate to you as well, although you could be a Gemini or a Cancer. Um, the Cancer card talks about forward movement. It talks about having everything where it needs to be, having opposing forces running in the same direction. Yin and yang is balance, which is very much the energy I'm getting from the temperance card and the queen of swords here. So it feels like to me that you are well and truly ready to move forward. You're completely in balance and the universe, oh, wow. <laughs> and the universe is in line with you. And then we have the fool. I feel like doing da da or uh, um, because when the fool comes out, this talks about being ready to take a leap of faith. So it's like all the cards this morning are really running. And then you have the seven of cups. Okay, I feel like you're ready to face something here. You're ready to take a leap. You're ready with that seven of cups to take whatever comes. You are being divinely guided. The timing is right. I could leave the reading there and you would be very satisfied with that reading but there may be more to come and there's the devil card can i say all the major arcanas coming through at the moment are a bit of a blast um so you have in in effect four one two three four major arcanas out of five possibly six cards and then we get the devil energy so the devil energy, I love the devil energy, but you know me, I love all the tarot cards. I see the positives in all of them. I see the downsides in all of them. I don't see any tarot card as being bad. I've been reading them for a very long time. I do not, they do not faze me because very often they mean something very important to you. It may not be the best thing, but will it lead to the best thing? Absolutely. So the devil card is the card of the ego. It's the card of it's the card of Capricorn as well. Um, but it's the card of facing your fears. It's the card of um, letting go of those things that hold you back from what you want. Now, the devil card can represent people with very big egos. So it brings often in the idea of, you know, very narcissistic personalities, uh, people who are very ego driven um, but the devil also represents the ego in terms of fear, obsession, and the things that we need to bring back into balance. Here I feel that there is a lot of energy of fear. I almost want to say reluctance. This energy of holding yourself back from something. But I feel like I look at this snake and I feel like perhaps it's time to strike. Perhaps it's time to go for something. All right, look at this, the Ace of Cups. Getting a lot of love readings lately. Ten of Wands, time to put something down. And we have the King of, oh, the Knight of Wands. Wow, okay. Somebody is coming in here after putting a burden down. This person may have been dealing with something that was very toxic in their life here. Whoever it is rushing in here, and this could be you, you've put something from your past down here, some sort of burden, and you're ready to offer love. But I feel like for others of you here, you may have done some healing and you may have healed a lot of these ego energies that have held you back, your fears. And you may be ready to accept love here after releasing some sort of burden. So I feel like I'm reading for both parties here. But then maybe you're mirroring each other. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. Oh, with the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love in this reading. 
the Three of Swords coming through here. See, even that card in this deck is so beautiful. Look at it. I feel like with the Devil card and this Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands that you're letting go of a lot of past hurts. You've let, it go, let go. You may have done a lot of healing around your childhood. Um, there is a real release here of past hurts. It's like you are ready to wipe the slate and start again. There is a lot of love in this reading with this Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. And I feel that someone here is definitely with the Page of Sword ready to um, make contact to be able to speak about this. Somebody's ready to speak up. Somebody's ready to talk. Somebody's ready to express their love. I feel like both parties here have let go of a lot of their past pain. All right, so we have the Emperor coming through with the Judgment card again with the Major Arcanas and the Ace of Coins coming and heading the reading. There's a brand new start here, a promise of something long-term, something solid. I feel, especially with this judgment card, that whoever's coming forward here wants to or has wiped the slate clean so that they can have a brand new start. This is a person who's let go of the fear, who's learned to forgive, um, who's really sort of wanting to start afresh is what Spirit is saying here. Um, and I honestly feel that whoever's receiving here has done exactly the same thing. So both of you have cleared the slate or both of you have wiped things clean so that you can both start again. Now, for those of you, this is not... For some of you, this will be definitely somebody coming back from the past. We have the judgment card coming through again. So I feel like for some of you, there is a revitalized relationship. But I'm really strongly feeling that this could be definitely somebody here who's ready to start again who has a strong soul connection with you but may not necessarily be somebody from your past so both energies are coming through very very strong here i feel like this person is ready to start something new with you so if you haven't met this person they may have been going through the same journey as you have they may have been clearing their past hurts. They may have been working on their fears and their ego. The things that have held them back in the past from having the love that they've wanted. All right, let's have a look at what's going on. All right, so we have the devil card coming through. Sorry, we have the devil card here. We have the lover's card coming through. And in the traditional tarot, the lover's and the devil card actually look very, very similar. It's sort of like the light and dark, the shadow and the and the light. Um, I feel that you've got everything that you need, everything in place. Whoever you're dealing with here is in the same place as you. You're very much reflecting each other's energy. I feel that you're both ready for something new. You're both ready to move forward and ready to take some sort of leap of faith. I feel with the Seven of Cups, it's like doesn't matter what happens now. Nothing will stop you. Oh boy, there's a song coming in there. Mm, I'll have to pick that up at the end. All right, so we have the Ace of Coins heading up the reading with the Ace of Cups in the reading. So there's a very strong feeling of long-term love coming through here. I feel both parties have dealt with some sort of past heartbreak, past pain, but you're both racing towards each other now. So it's like you've got everything ready to go here. It's really beautiful energy. Just pull a, full, a few clarifiers. Oh, we have the High Priestess. There's a sense of knowing here. A sense of wait and see though with the Queen of Wands. The Five of Wands. Oops. With the Eight of Cups. So both parties walking away from things that held them back here. Coming in here. I love this card. There's still some conflict, some still mental conflict around whether this will work or whether it won't. 
But I feel like with the High Priestess here, there's a strong sense of knowing that things are right. Taking on the energy here of the Queen of Wands. Being very ready. Feeling very good about yourself. Feeling very attractive and ready to move forward on something. Oh, okay, so I have two cards coming out here. So I'll read from the Wisdom of the Oracle. We have the card of Yin, which at the moment is about non-action. This is the feminine, la la la, <laughs> the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking cues, the art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sens sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. So there's no need to control this. It's all in action. We also have... higher power. See, you've got to leave it up to the universe. Conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. This card reminds you that you're more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask yourself, what is the highest good of all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. What I love about these two cards is look at the similarity in the colors. Beautiful pink and purple and lilac hues. I will leave you with that. Have a great day.